Okay, and we're back, and it's Comp 1011, and I'm playing with everybody today. And it's uh, Week 1, Lesson 1, Part 3. And the question last time when we left off was, hey, it's broken, how do we fix it? Well, I think one of the nicest fixes we can do is we go to the default package and we go New Class. And inside there, you can do this by, by you know, uh, by the way, in different ways, but I'm just doing it like this. I'm going to call this the Person Class. It's still, the super class is still this Java Lang object, but I'm not going to declare anything extra. I'm going, to click, I'm going to click finish. When I do that, it gives me this stub of a public class person. Now I can go into the player class where I have all this defined, right? Because here there's nothing, right? In this file, there's just public class person. Here there's public class person with all this extra information. So I can take all this stuff here, right? Public class person. I can cut it, I can go into this uh, place and paste, right, and then there's my class. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm separating, I'm separating my classes into different files, but they're in the same default package, which means they're accessible one to the other. I don't have to do any imports. That's the first thing. I still got this silly error though, right? So here I am, and inside of outside of thing I'm trying to make Tom walk he ain't walking right so let me just get rid of all this and I'll clean up the classes here a little bit so I want to do this so that and by the way I haven't still I only use strength once we're gonna change that in a bit right so I want to declare Tom right and if I make Tom private again which I could so if I say private person Tom is equal to new person like we did before, right? It gives me an error. And the error says illegal modifier for parameter Tom, only final is permitted. One quick fix, remove invalid parameter or modifier. So I take away the uh, modifier and then Tom is okay. Now it's legal. Now this is the great thing about Eclipse. It gives you quick fixes and does it all the time, especially if you have a, a method that doesn't exist. Control and one can create the method for you right away. It's part of Eclipse. Well, let's just go back. Yeah, if I like, if I had like a new method, and I wanted to create a new thing, Control and one should do it. Anyways, let's go to the next piece. So if I say Tom dot walks, right? If I do this correctly and I say Tom dot walks, and by the way, let me do that slower than you than than that. So Tom, and I go dot, right? And look, I have height, weight, eats. Right? And bunch, a bunch of other stuff that's not part of Tom. How come I'm getting all this extra stuff for Tom? Because there are methods inherited from objects. Thank you. Because there are methods inherited, methods and properties inherited from the object super super class. The crazy super class that exists for every Java class that's out there. Right? So, now they may not apply, but they're there. So I'm going to say tom.walk. Walks. Okay, so tom.walks. And I'm going to save this thing. And then when I save it, I'm going to run it. So here I am running it. And it says down here, this is the way we fixed it. Hello world 10, you lost weight, a new way 18. Okay, so there's a couple of issues. One thing I'd probably want to do is, I weigh 18 what? That's the first thing I'd like to do. But that's just a syntactical thing. That's just like a nice pretty thing. So let's just add that in just because. So 18 pounds. That's pretty small. I'm a pretty small Tom, right? I wish I only weighed 18 pounds, but and let's so let's increase this to make this more dramatic. Let's make this 200 <laughs> instead of 20, right? That's more accurate. And let's say make my height six, right? Yeah, it's probably six feet. So if I do that and I save everything again and I run it again, then I say, hey, hello world, Tom, world 10. You lost weight, you weigh 180 pounds, right? Okay, and if I run it again, this is the problem that we ran into. If I go Tom walks again, right? Tom walks again, so I did it a second time. I just left a little bit of space so you can see it. And I run it again, boom. Now I weigh 162 pounds. This is okay because... I'm still within, uh, I've, I've lost an even amount of, of weight, right? 180 times 0.9 is 18, right? I take 18 away from 200, 
or from 180, I'm still 162. Now is where we get funky, though. If I do it again, right, I have my logic error that kicks in, right? I'm 145. Let's use the math. 162 times 0.9 is I, I subtract 1.62. Right or 16.2 out of uh, out of uh, um, 162, right? And that's not 145. That's just not. <laughs> Why? Because I made in my person class a logic error. I made height and weight integers, and they should be floats or doubles. So if I put float in here and I put float in there, and I, if I define my height as 6.0 and my weight as 200.0, which is accurate, now it gives me errors. It says, hey, it says type mismatch. Cannot convert from double to float. But wait a minute. This dot height, I just made it up. I don't understand, right? I made it a float. And it says, look, add cast to float or change type of height to double. Why? But they're not. This height and this weight, right, are float height and float weight. I define them as such. How come it's telling me that they should be double? I added the decimals on the head. Once I do that crap, I'm sorry to say it that way. Now it, the, the compiler sees it differently, right? And that's why. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to add the decimals on the end. I'm just going to put them back the way they were. But remember, I want decimals at the end. When I come out with uh, my answer, I want my weight showing in decimals, right? And remember, this weight and this height are going to print out because I'm, uh, I've done it. Let's see what happens. 145.8, 162. Isn't that supposed to round up to the lowest point? No, it did, 145. 145.8 rounds up to the Round down, round down, rounds down. Because it concatenates, it, it cuts off. It doesn't round, it just goes Anything outside of the, of the integer is gone. Right, it's chopped off. Right, so when it chops off, it just, it just takes it completely away. All right, these are stupid errors, right? That we, can, that we could fix easily. But my point here is that until you remember how to use Java, right, these are silly errors we can all make. And there's two types of errors we, we have. We had a syntax error because we kind of try to define a class within a class. I just did that to see what you guys would do. Yes, there's many other fixes, but not the right kind of fixes, right? Definitely not making static. Static is the wrong fix, right? And yes, you could do stuff with Tom to make it work, and it was working, but once we ran it a couple times, there was a systematic logic error that came out, which was we're using integers to do things like um, reduce the weight by 90%. Okay, very, very simple, silly mistakes. Now that we fixed this, I want to go back and do a short review on, um, so I think this piece is done. I'm not going to go on too much about this. I'm going to come back to this though because I think what I want to do is I want to create a lesson one git uh, uh, repository, right? So here's my GitHub. Actually, let's just do that now. Get it done. Get her done. The what? Like we make two separate classes, like person and a player, and it works. The same code works. Mm -hmm. Why won't it work when you put it? It was an inner class. That's the reason. It was an inner class. Inner classes work a lot differently than um, separate classes. And this is where we run into problems with, with silly uh, Android. Yes? Uh, I was just going to ask, when do we put it be proper to use an inner class? You'll see. Yeah. When we do Android. Okay. <laughs> they use inner classes all the time. Right? And it's, it's a silly thing that they do. All right. Let's do this thing. So I'm going to create a new repository. And we're going to go comp 1011, and we'll call it lesson one. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Eclipse, and in here, in my source files, here's my source files, or in my in here, I'm going to go team, share project. Are you following me, guys? Team, share project. Where I where did I click? I clicked here, at the actual project level. Team, share project. When I do that, it brings me up what type of sharing do I want to do, CVS or Git. Well, obviously, it's going to be Git. I'm going to click Next. And then from here, it says, what's my repository, right? I have previously defined my repository as, as this. <coughs> Users Thomas Git. If you don't have that, you have to define that in your, in your, uh, in your properties. And then I click Finish. When I do that, it says, hey, you've got this, you can see some other special markings here. This greater than sign shows that I've, I've got a, um, <clears throat> some revision history that I've made, right? And now what I need to do is I can use my team on the project right, to push this thing upstream, right? First, I want to do a commit. That's the first thing I want to do. And I want to say, and I can choose which of all this stuff, as an example, I want to commit. And I want to commit all this. My demo project. Um, actually, I don't want to include my demo project. That's another file that I got rid of, remember? And uh, my comp 1011, my class path, my git ignore. Uh, my, the project itself, the settings, all this stuff I want there. My person class, my player class, I want to include that all in my Git. And I want to press uh, my commit, which is created uh, first uh, project. Lesson one. I can go as crazy as I want here. Same kind of idea. It captures my, it's going to capture my um, snapshot. That's what it's going to do. And when I click on commit, Right, it's made a commit. I haven't pushed it upstream yet, and the way to do that, of course, is to go team push to upstream. It says, "Okay, cool. My repository is this. It's the wrong repository." Yeah. No, we got to make a new one. And this is bad because what I've told it to do is go here. Right? By accident, because this is where my old repository was. But I don't want this repository. I want to go to another repository, which is the one I just created, which is this one. And I'm going to do this all again for you guys again, because I want to make sure you guys get it. Change. And finish. Save and push. And now when I do that, if you notice how fast it is compared to Visual Studio, and I refresh, bam, I have my lesson one up on GitHub. All right. All right, so there's a couple things we need to set up with Eclipse because we had, a, we had Git set up before in order for this to happen. One, first you have to sign up to a Git account. And for those people who weren't here this morning, you need to do that by going into <coughs> on GitHub and signing up for a free account. Okay, so if you've you done that, good. And, and did you select the new repository? Uh, no, the it's name. Just, yeah, just put a new name for the repository. Anything you want. Mm. Because you have to go into um, Eclipse. And you've got to go into preferences. And I'll, I'll be with you guys. I'm going to pause the movie in a second and I'll come back to it. You got to go to preferences and then you got to go into team and then you got to go into git and you got to do go into configuration. And then from there, it tells you two things where the location is of your git files, number one. Um, your repository settings it has all that information here as well. 
right? So you have to make sure that you have some kind of uh, configuration set up here. Yeah. That's the first thing. Okay. The next piece is after you've set up the configuration, then when you do your first team share project, it'll give you all the prompts you need. I think it might be window on the on the on the on the. So I'm going to pause this, and I'll be right back.